This is a very simple but sometimes very useful device. It's a car voltage monitor or meter. It measures the voltage in your car, the voltage of your battery and car mains and displays it on this LED display. With a classic multimeter you would have to open your car engine cover or hood or bonnet and measure the voltage directly on the battery. With this device it's much easier because you just stick it into your car cigarette lighter socket and measure the voltage directly. So you can easily see if the battery is running flat, charging properly or even overcharging. Sometimes the car has a failure and it doesn't charge the battery enough and sometimes it even overcharges the battery. Recently I had a problem in my car because the voltage regulator failed and it was overcharging the battery up to about 18 volts. The battery was literally boiling and bubbling and almost all the light bulbs blew up. Just because of a stupid failure of this regulator inside the alternator. If I had this device I would realize the problem much earlier. It comes from eBay, it cost me only $1.50. It's for both 12 and 24 volt cars and according to the listing the range of voltage measurement is from 8 volts to 30 volts. So let's test it using my bench power supply. This one is the negative and the tip is the positive. So let's try to turn the voltage up. Now it starts to light up. It shows something but still not very accurate. And now it starts to be close to the real value. So from about 4 volts it starts to measure 5.2, now that's accurate, 6.2, that's close, not so bad, 9.4, ok, 12.9, 15.1, ok, 18.5, good, 23 point something and let's go up to 28 it's close and let's go for 30 kind of okay at 30 volts it draws 110 milliamps so it dissipates 3.3 watts honestly that's a crazy power consumption for a tiny voltmeter it's getting really hot and I can smell a burning resistor. So the device works but it draws a little bit too much power especially at higher voltages. A 12 volt car has about 14 volts when the engine is running and this device will draw about 43 milliamps and dissipate 0.6 watts. This is still kind of acceptable but a 24 volt car will have about 28 volts with the engine running and this device will draw about 95 milliamps and dissipate 2.66 watts. And that's really a lot. The maximum voltage of this voltmeter is 30 volts. At this voltage it draws 105 milliamps and dissipates 3.15 watts. And that's a really crazy power. So let's take a look inside and see what's actually drawing so much power in it. So how do I open it up? Can I unscrew this one? Yes. There is the tip and a fuse. And that's it. This is the other contact, the negative one. There is the display with a filter. A blue filter over a red display. That's a little strange. This is the fuse. It is rated 5 amps? Are you crazy? 5 amps for a tiny LED voltmeter? I have no idea why did they use such a high value. Maybe the high current fuses are cheaper than the low current ones. There's a tiny board with a display, one very big resistor, another three resistors and a transistor. 
and there is some chip under the display and that's it no SMD components this is not a transistor it's a TL431A it's an adjustable voltage reference and this resistor is probably what dissipates all the power but why? let's draw a schematic so here's the schematic and it's really simple there is just a display the chip for resistors the voltage reference and of course the crazy fuse the voltage reference is connected the simplest way with the reference pin connected directly to the cathode in this configuration it simply works as a 2.5 volt Zener diode so at this point there's 2.5 volts and because the supply voltage is up to 30 volts this resistor is dropping up to 27.5 volts in this condition the current through the resistor is I equals U over R and this is 27.5 volts divided by 270 ohms and this is 0 0.102 amps or 102 milliamps the power dissipation of the resistor is P equals U times I and this is 27.5 volts times 0 0.102 amps and this is 2.8 watts and that's quite a lot of power this type of power supply is really inefficient and most of the power is being dissipated in this resistor just a small amount of power goes into the actual load the power supply with a Zener diode is very inefficient because it drops the voltage on the resistor but also because it still draws the full current if the power supply is designed for 100 milliamps it will always draw 100 milliamps even if there is no load even without any load the full current still flows through the resistor and the Zener diode and they dissipate all the power if you are drawing 10 milliamps from it it will still draw 100 milliamps because the remaining 90 milliamps are still going through the Zener diode this is exactly what's happening in this circuit and that's the reason why it's so inefficient it's much better to use something like 7805 or LM317 let's say we are drawing 10 milliamps again and this circuit will have a quiescent current of about 5 milliamps so the total current will be 15 milliamps and 15 milliamps versus 100 milliamps that's a really big difference so a linear regulator is much better than a Zener diode because it will draw less current and also dissipate less heat this reference is working as a Zener diode here this is the steaming resistor this is the LED display it's controlled in multiplex and it has no resistors so the current is only limited by the chip it's some 18 pin chip but it's hidden under the display and I will have to desolder the display to see the marking there is a resistive divider going into some input and this is probably what measures the voltage there's another pin going to a 74k resistor and there is a space for a capacitor on the board but it's omitted I don't know what is the purpose of this one the voltage divider divides the voltage by 12 so when there is 30 volts there will be 2.5 volts here so at the maximum input voltage the voltage here will be equal to the supply voltage of the chip and there is one more pin on the chip connected to a pin of a display and it's probably a jumper selecting the decimal point on the display there's absolutely no capacitor in the circuit I would expect at least a capacitor in parallel to the chip power supply I'm running it at 15 volts for about 2 hours this is the maximum voltage you will ever see in a 12 volt car and it's warming up but not so much and it doesn't fail yet now let's try 30 volts after about half an hour at 30 volts it smells horribly it gets extremely hot and the plastic is kind of warping honestly that's crazy <laughs> I 
that's amazing and there is the resistor of course and let's see how the display is going The resistor is kind of melting into the display and the entire display is kind of soft now. That's crazy! Take a look at the display. This is just absolutely awesome! After removing the molten display, the chip turns out to be this one. I have no idea what it is. So the conclusion is that it's kind of okay in a 12 volt car, but definitely not in a 24 volt car. In a 24 volt car you can just plug it in, read it and unplug it, but definitely don't operate it continuously. In a 12 volt car it may be kind of okay, but I still wouldn't run it all the time because you never know. And I would also change the original fuse to something more reasonable, like 125 or 160 milliamps. This is Diagon Wild, and see you in my next videos.